thank you for joining me on my channel today. We are going to be working on a vanity light for my main bathroom in my house. Now this is a piece of uh, walnut that I'm going to use for the lighting project. And we're going to mill this lumber up into boards. Before I can start the project, I have to determine where on this board I want to take the section out that I'm going to make for the front and back and sides of this, this light. So, my plan is the light itself is going to be 61 inches long. So if I take my, my tape and I put it out onto this board, you can see that I have more of 160 or 61 inches is about right here. Um, as you can see, I got more wood than I need for the front and back. So, the rest of this here, I want to use, try to use for the sides. So, I need to determine where's the best place for me to, to take the wood for that front and back. So, I think that the grain looks pretty good uh, throughout this whole section here, up until the point where we get um, this little defect here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, 61, which is what our light width is going to be, which is right here, and I'm going to add about, I don't know, maybe about four inches to that, and uh, that will allow me to have a little extra at the end, at the end of the milling to clean up the edges on that. So what I'll have to do is, or what my plan is, is to, to cut this to length, the proper length, and then because my jointer is only six inches wide, I'm going to have to uh, cut this board in half lengthwise and run it through my jointer that way and then glue the two sections back together again. Now I don't want to do that, but I am limited by my jointer width. And as you can see, this board is eight inches wide. My jointer is six inches wide. It's not going to work. So I'm going to have to cut this down. Now, my finished height of this light is six inches, which is, yes, it's the same width as my jointer, but it still won't work out, and I don't want to try it. So what I'm going to do is just mill this in half, and then uh, this board is an inch and a quarter, I believe it's five quarter wide. Let's just check. Yes, it's five quarter wide, and I want half inch thick boards uh, for the lighting sides and front. So I'm going to also mill this in half. Uh, I'll take it over the bandsaw and we will cut it down the middle and make two boards out of one. So that's what we have to do today. So I'm going to mill the, the wood up today and then I'm going to let it sit in my shop for a few days acclimate and see if it's going to move or anything. And if it does, I can still mill that out. So let's go do that. Now I'm going to take my tape and I'm going to measure 61 inches, 1, 2, 3, 4, so 65 inches, let's go 66 inches, and I'm going to make a mark here, and I'm going to cut this off, and I'm going to come up to the square, and I'm just going to make a mark, now you don't have to cut exactly on the line, it doesn't really matter, as long as you're, you know, pretty close. We're going to saw this in half, and you don't have, like I said, you don't have to be right on the line, just kind of be close uh, because we are milling it longer than it needs to be. But before I do anything, I want to just make sure there's no checking, there's no cracks or anything down at this end because once I cut it, I've cut it and I don't have any other wood to use for this. So I have to make sure that it looks fairly decent. Now, on the other side of the board, we also have to make sure that there's no imperfections where I'm cutting because we don't want to find that out at the end. So you can see that even right, right here I have a knot. I don't think that's going to hurt me much because this, this board can be used for the back and you're really not going to see it. So the front, the board, the side that I'm going to use for the front looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this here and we'll start milling. So the first thing Ear protection. I wear, I wear ear protection all the time.
All right, that was our first cut. So we're starting. We're on our way to our project here. All right, I'm back at my shop. This is day two. I got pulled away from my shop yesterday, so I'm back in here today to finish up the milling of this uh, lumber for the vanity light. Now this piece of wood is 8 inches wide and my joiner as I said was only 6 inches wide so I can't run this through my jointer. What I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to saw it in half lengthwise and then run the both pieces through and then join those two pieces back together after I've milled them. So in order for me to saw it in half I need to have at least a straight edge on this board to run up against my fence on my table saw. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my track saw along this edge here, make a straight cut, and then use that straight cut against my fence so I can saw this down the middle. So let's set up the track saw. We'll make that cut. Okay, we got the track saw set up. I'm just going to take a little bit off, not a whole lot. Just going to straighten this edge up. And uh, then we can run that, run this uh, board through the table saw. we got a pretty good straight edge here. I could have done a little better there, but I think it's straight enough to uh, allow me to uh, make a cut on the table saw. Pretty, pretty straight there. So let's make, uh, let's set up this saw and we will make the cut on the saw and then we'll start uh, running these through the jointer. That looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. We're back at the bench here. I made my cut. And now we have our two pieces. We are now ready to run these pieces through the jointer.
both pieces through the jointer and I had a little bit of tear out on one of the boards so uh, I think and I'm hoping that that will straighten out in the planer uh, we'll see <laughs> but uh, it's a little bit deep I'm not really happy about that but uh, as I said I only have a six inch jointer and it's not the greatest jointer on earth um, it's uh, just it's just not. <laughs> I mean, I, I bought this a long time ago, and uh, I never dreamed that I'd be using it the way I use it, so I'm not going to blame it. It's done a job for me in the past. I've gotten projects done with it, uh, but it's not the best ever. I need to upgrade that, upgrade that uh, particular piece of equipment. Uh, so, let's, we got to do what we got to do. So... I'm going to run this two boards through the planer and we'll see what they look like when they come out the other side. We're standing here at the planer. I've got both my boards here. I got the planer set up to start. Got the uh, vacuum line connected to it. We're always kind of pressed for uh, room over here. So I'm just going to set my camera up over here and I'm going to be walking in front of you. So we'll do the best I can to show you what I'm doing. So we're gonna just knock off a little bit of the thickness and getting everything all trued up. And uh, then we're gonna let these uh, two boards sit overnight and see if they're gonna move any. If they move, we'll rejoint them and come on over here to the planer and plane them just a little bit. And if they don't move, we're gonna take these over to the bandsaw and we're going to cut these in half uh, make uh, two sides, make our two sides to the light, the front and back. So uh, we'll see what happens. I'm hoping that I, I can, you know, cut these down or like run these through the planer and uh, I'll have enough left over to get my two one half inch boards out of this. So we're crossing our fingers. We don't have to take a whole lot off. I wanted to get. Uh, like six quarter boards but the sawmill where I went to uh, they did not have any they're really short on walnut right now so I had to take what I could get but I have plenty of uh, walnut if I have to make another board I'm not too worried about it so uh, let's run these through the planer and we'll cross our fingers that uh, we have enough meat on the bone when I'm done to make these uh, front and back boards so let's see
I've gotten both of these boards run through the planer and uh, they're looking pretty good. Um, all that uh, chip out I had from the jointer, I seem to have been able to uh, mill it down and get rid of that. My cutting, uh, my cutting edges aren't really good on this. You can see these little lines right here. Those are all marks on the Shelix uh, blades. So I'm going to take some time and uh, shut this uh, planer down and switch my knives around so I can get a better surface. But uh, they're milled for right now, so I'm going to let them sit overnight. And then we'll come back tomorrow and I will run them back through this planer one more time just to clean up the edges or actually clean up the surface of them with the new knives and we'll take these uh, two boards over to the bandsaw and we will uh, put them over on their edges and we'll take off, we'll cut them in half lengthwise and make two boards out of one. And then we'll have to bring them back through the planer and clean up that edge where the uh, bandsaw blade has been. And then uh, hopefully we'll have two half inch boards that I can glue together um, to make one board. We will see. Before I left the shop today, I wanted to show you how I was going to leave these boards for the night. So I put them on stickers and uh, let us sit here and uh, we'll see if they move any. Like if they twist or bow or anything like that, and hopefully they will not. It looks pretty stable right now. Um, this is really interesting right here. This uh, right here is figure in the wood. I don't know how well it comes across on the on the uh, camera here, but it's uh, just a little bit of figure. So we'll leave these through tonight. Now this has a little bit more of sap wood here than I really wanted. And a lot of times you can't see that until after you do the milling. But this light is going to be stained dark. Uh, my wife wants uh, almost a black finish. So we'll see what it looks like when I apply the stain. But this particular board might not make it to the front. We'll see what they look like when I, when I uh, cut these in half and then uh, glue them together and make one six inch board out of it. So that's where we're at. we are at for today. So I'm going to spend the rest of the day changing the knives uh, around on my planer. And uh, maybe we can get a better surface out of it. <laughs> I ran some hickory through it. And uh, I guess the knives uh, were more tired. So I've had them, I've had the, the Shelix head on this thing for about four years. And this will be the first time I've changed the knives around. So they need it. I'm not going to complain about that. I've got more than my money is worth out of this Shelex head uh, for the uh, planer. So we're not going to complain. So we'll end the video here for today. And then I'll come back here tomorrow. I'll check it and see what these look like. I got the knives changed around on these on this uh, Shelix head here, and uh, you can see down here on the knife that it has BT. I don't know if it's engraved down there or what that is, but it looks like it might be engraved. But uh, they used to be f over here. So what you do is you just all four sides of this is sharp, so you just loosen this screw in this here and uh, just turn this the other way. So now all the BTs are on this corner. Uh, so that's the first time that I've ever changed them since I've had it. And I, like I said, I've had it about four years or so at least, maybe five. And uh, I've never changed them because they've always been tight or they've always been uh, real nice and sharp. But like I said, I before I ran some hickory through it and I didn't seem to like that. So. They might be have been ready to be changed. Um, I did find some. I did find one of these on the outside. 
one of these screws on the outside to be rather loose. I mean, it was uh, ready to, I don't say it's ready to fall off, but it was really near falling out. And uh, that would have been really bad trouble. So I'm glad I came in here and at least changed these and found that. I'm not, I'm not sure if they're supposed to be torqued down to a certain spec. I'm going to go look through the instruction manual and see what it says. And if I can't find anything there, I will get a hold of the company and see what they have to say about that. Some were real tight, some were snug, some, there was a couple just a little loose. And then one of these on the outside over here, I think it was this one here, this one down here, uh, it was way loose. Uh, just in, I'm surprised it didn't, the screw head didn't make contact with any wood I sent through. I don't usually put the wood through on the edge like that, but I'm real surprised that it didn't hit the wood at all. So I'm glad I did this today. And I'm not going to make a video on how to change these around. There's uh, many videos on the internet on how to do that, but if someone wants to know, leave it in the comments and I'll make a video of how to change these around. It's the best modification I've found so far for this uh, planer. I love these. Uh, I love this blade. I love this uh, Shelix head in here. It's just nice. And then I, I changed out this, uh, like, I, I put this uh, Wixi gauge on here for thickness. That's an upgrade, too. Um, I love that thing, too. It looks really nice. I've had, I haven't had any problems with either one of these two mods I did to this. The only thing I did have a problem with with this planer is uh, this belt back here. This belt in here. Um, I uh, trashed the first one. And what I did was I was running boards through and taking too much of a bite off of it. And that belt did not like that. So uh, I can't remember what I was making, but uh, it sure shredded it. So I bought this uh, aftermarket belt. And uh, I think the other belt was black. This one's orange. And it seems to be working real well. So it's not a bad idea to have one of these uh, belts sitting on the shelf somewhere in case you trash one that's in it. Um, it can really stop your project right away. Well, we're off subject here. I'm going to let these uh, boards dry and sit for the day here and uh, see if they move any. And then uh, when I come out here in the morning, I'll run them back through this planer again and clean them up. All right. We got those two boards run through the joiner, then through the planer. And I will let them sit on my bench for a couple of days and let them rest. Um, let's see, uh, we come back, we'll mill these two boards in half on the bandsaw, and then we will maybe, maybe get them down to rough thickness and then put those boards together and make one board, and then we'll run them through the planer again and straighten them all up and get the glue line off, uh, of the board, and, uh, then we'll cut them to a rough size, so I hope you enjoyed the video today. Please like and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification so you can see when I'm going to make a new video or I've got a new video out. And uh, man, it's getting warm. Uh, maybe the weather's changing towards uh, uh, summer. I'm waiting on that big time. I love summer. I don't like cold. Uh, that's why I don't find myself out here in my shop too much when it's cold. So we will see you next time. Thank you for uh, joining me today.